Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I will be showcasing the Flutter framework, which was developed by Google. Uh, this framework uses a programming language called Dart, which introduces class-based components and types. It is a object-oriented programming language as well. It's perfect for developing mobile apps that can compile. It is better than anything that I've seen, to be honest. Um, I've been using it for quite a while now, so it's really good. Um, so I'm going to show, showcase, showcase this to you. Um, all right, so let's get started. So as you can see here, I'll put this in the description below. Please go to this URL. If you go to this URL, uh, select your specific operating system that you use. So as you can see, oh, I'm on a Mac, so I would select Mac and download it for Mac. Uh, you can choose it for Windows, Mac, Linux, and Chrome. Uh, so I'm going to get started showcasing the app in general, a Flutter app. So if we just do a Flutter setup directory, if we just create a directory so that we can showcase this app, then the commands to create a Flutter app when you set it up and have installed it um, successfully is do Flutter create app. So as you can see, when you type in Flutter create, it will generate an app. And if we CD into that app, we can actually have a look at its source code. But right now I'm just going to run it. I'm going to run the app. So I'm going to run the app. As you can see, we're doing Flutter run. It is building a macOS application um, because it's it's not building uh, for a simulator, which I will run later. Here's the Flutter app. As you can see, it has opened. As you can see, it's just a basic in increment app. When we press this button, that value will increment by one. Um, as you can see here, if we go into the uh, code itself, which we'll do in a second. We can actually have a look here uh, at the commands here that it gives us. It says hot reload, list, clear, detach, and quit. Uh, but what we want to focus on is when we're writing code for Flutter uh, in Dart, um, in the Flutter framework, when we are developing an app, we have to do a hot reload so that we can refresh the changes that we've done. So you just press R on the keyboard. Uh, if you're on, yeah, you just do that. Um, if, let's, so let's check out the Visual Studio code if we have a look at here. Uh, let's go full screen so we can see this. So we got different build directories. We got different builds here. So we got for uh, iOS, Linux, Mac, and Web and Windows, but and Android. But let's just focus on this main file folder here, which is called lib. This is where you write the main code of the app. So this is where you write the code. And as you can see here, there's already given us comments, which you can go through in your own spare time. Or you can read it during this video. You can just pause it and read it. It's just uh, describing and discussing the, uh, uh, just giving you specific details about what the code does. Um, as you can see here, we use things called widgets, which is basically what defines the application. And if we just go down here, I'll even run the application again, uh, but I'll be running it in a, a simulator. So I'll just, run it in a simulator so i'll open a simulator which opens a iphone based simulator i'm going to refresh it because it failed and as you can see here we're opening a iphone simulator you can also do this for android on windows so as you can see it has successfully launched i'm just going to dock it here on my visual studio window and as you can see here it just gives us a brief understanding of what's going on so as you can see here this is the the flutter app um oh well the this is where the apps are right um as you can see here if we just do if we, so let's go through the code when we run it so if we do flutter run again as you can see here watch what happens As you can see there, it is compiling and it's building on Xcode, which generates it and compiles it to an iPhone application for us on Mac. So as you can see, it's the same application. We can increment values and so forth. So it's a very nice, intuitive uh, application. See if we do hot refresh, nothing happens. But if we change the title of this app, so for example, Flutter App Testing, Flutter app test refresh you can see the changes here Flutter app test you can see here that it uses uh, widget components so if we uh, change this again uh, we can see the changes if we do hot reload um, as you can see here it uses properties such as title just specifying the type of app 
um, and if we go here we can use primary colors this is how you display colors and so forth so in the next video I'll be discussing um, or showing showcasing basic utilities and uh, of using uh, building flutter apps I've I'm currently building one um, I'm developing an app itself used for daily day use especially when I go places so if you find an issue in the community and you want to solve it by building a solution flutter and building it in dart is probably the best way to go because it compiles to every single platform such as uh, android mac os linux and windows android linux mac os and windows and even web which is very cool um, but we are focusing strictly on the ios apps here so as you can see here this is how we define things so it's returning a scaffold i'll just quickly demonstrate and talk about the code before uh we hop on to the next episode as you can see here so it's returning a scaffold a scaffold the scaffold widget is basically defining this whole structure of this app so think of it as a container so where my mouse is it's like a container a wrapper for this app and as you can see here we've got a property called app bar right and this is spe specifying this blue bar up here as you can see here this is how you define uh, variables in flutter in dart we say final we give it the type and we give it the variable so final string title which is a string that's a string and we de define it up here you can see here that everything is done in classes so specifying every single component you can also split it in different files which will I'll, sh I'll showcase in the next episode uh, so we've got a class here called my home page so we we select we use this property we define it and say that this is our home page so when you launch the app when you open the app this page shows and also we're giving it the title and we passing the string of that variable that we created so that we can see the title um, and if we go down here so this is the whole um, component uh, we displaying we defining an integer so this is integer value we're calling it counter and we it is equal to zero so that is in the beginning uh, when this value was zero and we increment it by play, uh, pressing this button uh, which is used uh, this function here this is how you define functions in flutter so we type in void and we can just call it function name uh, example right so this is where you define your function name this is where you define your parameters so i'm just going to say event and so forth so that's a that's a function in dart um, as you can see here we're setting the state and we're incrementing the counter we just say grab that variable uh, integer and we just plus plus at the end so every time that button is pressed it increments the value which will update it on the app so this is everything here we've also got the child column widget which is displaying, it's displaying this in a column if we go down here this is how you display text we can also give another text here um, so if we go here at the bottom here so it's displayed in this children component which is the wrapper for the these text it says that you have pushed the button how many times this many times this is the the text here so we're using the text widget we can also do this um, we can also display another text we don't have to deploy const that's another variable type um, so it is in JavaScript as well but if we go here and uh, we define our own text so we just say testing um, and we refresh we can see that it shows up here at the bottom um, and if we want to apply a style we say style we give it a the style property and then we can do text style and then we can wrap this into a font size and we can give it a 20 so we if we refresh as you can see here it has changed if we do 50 and refresh it has applied that change so as you can see here it says testing um, we can also if we just move this text up top and refresh as you can see here so it's testing that um, text widget um, we can also apply other changes as well we can we can we can even say that the color we want to give it the color of the text we can say colors dot let's give it a red color and we save it and refresh now we've changed the text color to red um, we can change it to blue and so forth um, if you see this as you can see if we type in blue it says that there's different types here that we can use so if we type colors dot blue and then put it wrap it around um, in brackets and we give it 500 it gives you the specific set of that 500 um, we can also give it a hundred and it gives it a fade effect and uh, if you want it really blue that's how it shows 
um, showcases. So this is how you do Flutter apps in, in Flutter. Um, I'll be showcasing the next in the next video. I'll be showcasing an app that I've been working on, and I'll showcase and show you through my code and to show you what the code looks like, how it's written to develop, how I develop my apps, uh, my app that I'm currently working on, and so yeah, this is just an extra introduction of what uh, Flutter is and what Dart is in developing iPhone, iOS, Android apps, right? Uh, sorry, iPhone apps and Android apps. Um, even web apps you can do, which is very interesting. Uh, <laughs> that's really cool. So thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. I'll be showcasing and coding an app example. Thank you. Stay tuned. Have a good day.